Good morning, church. Welcome back to our daily devotion insight. Today, I want to share with you a devotion entitled Faith and Hope. Faith and Hope. I want to read from 1 Peter chapter 1, verses 20, second part to verse 21. It goes this way from the NIV version. God chose him as your ransom long before the world began. But now in these last days, he has been revealed for your sake. Through Christ, you have come to trust in God and you have placed your faith and hope in God because he raised Christ from the dead and gave him glory. Amen. You know, when counselors encourage their clients or patients to have faith and hope, a reasonable response might be, faith in what? Hope in what? You know, for sure, encouraging a discouraged person to have a positive attitude and a bright outlook can be helpful for the person. But the truth is this, faith and hope in what? What are the objects to faith and hope? You know, sometimes it's so important for us to take note. For us as Christians, we say this. Peter says that God demonstrated through Christ's resurrection and glorification that our faith and hope should be in God. The object of our faith, the object of our hope is God. Because God has risen from the dead and our salvation is based on the living fact that the Lord God whom we believe in is a living God. He has overcame death. He has rose from the dead for you and for me. And therefore, for us who receive Him into our hearts as a God person, Savior, we can place our hope in Him. The resurrection is history's greatest demonstration that life eternal awaits all who put their faith and their hope in God. And if we have the certainty for the end of life on earth, we can depend on it to keep faith and hope alive until we get there. You know, one of the very important things in our Christian faith, one of the very important things for you and I as Christians is this. You know, because we know our tomorrow is in the hands of God. We know that God loves us. He died for us. He rose again for you and me. If we, if we know that God is with us through whatever we face, whatever you go through in life on this earth, till the day we meet Him face to face one day in eternity or when He returns back for us, it tells you and I that we can have faith and hope in Him for a sure tomorrow. You know, and therefore, it is very important to keep your faith in Him, that He's real, He's good, He loves you, He cares for you, He provides for you, and He is with you and I, whatever that you and I go through. And our hope is that He will never fail us, and will lead us all the way home to eternity one day when we are on earth. Amen? So develop your faith and hope in God by renewing your mind with Him, with His exceedingly great and precious promises. Amen? So therefore, George Mueller says, the beginning of anxiety is the end of faith. And the beginning of true faith is the end of anxiety. Whatever worries and anxiousness uh, in, in life that you are going through and facing, whatever difficulties you are facing, remember this one thing. If you focus on them, your faith and hope will fade. But when you look to God and focus on God and believe in God, have faith in God and believe in Him, that He will lead you through, He will grant you victory, He will take care of you. You know what? That's the end of worries and anxiety. Amen? So, hope and faith, or faith and hope, they both are very important. Depend on the object of your belief. That is Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. And you will have faith and you will have hope to the very end. Amen? Believe that. God bless you. You have a great day. In Jesus' name, Lord, let all who listen to your word be blessed. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you and you all have a great day.